you got yourself a right fine bargain. Yeah. Oh, how refreshing. You woke me up. Thanks. <laughs> Enough of the chit chat. My belly's growling. <laughs> I must quench this rumbling in my belly first. The Temple of Crouching Tiger, they say there's meat there. Worth a look. The feast first, then the toil. Hunger brings no spoils. Ugh, you should eat more, skinny. Off we go, to the Temple of Crouching Tiger. I'm Rat meat is insufferable. Help me score a tasty treat, will you? Help me score a tasty treat, will you? I uh, drive me mad. I've been craving a taste of that juicy jade lotus. Can you find me some in this barren land? Oh, I wouldn't mind some meatless meals from time to time. Hmm, I have stumbled upon some interesting leads. The realm of gold does hold a connection to this desolate land. I hear the realm of gold is where the sun sets. There, they held rats above all others. Hmm, and somehow, before we knew it, the realm was gone. Quite odd, that is. Hmm. I just tried those rat guys. They taste like men flesh. Hmm. Its people are not yet extinct. I suspect the yellow wind guai had a role in their downfall. A senior brother gave me a piece of gold. I'll need it here when the time's right, he said. Hmm. It's the right time now. I'm taking it to the right place to give it a try. Men in our time do not see the ancient moon, but this moon hath shone on men of yore. Behold! Be it the realm of sunset or the realm of gold, it's but an echo of the past. 
Legends speak of an ancient, colossal beetle in these sands. Whilst deep in slumber, it lay hidden beneath the Earth's embrace. When awakened, it would devour all souls that crossed its path. Its shell, harder than stone, defied the strikes of common arms. It struck fear into traveling merchants and wider to neighboring realms. But a yellow-furred rat sensed the immense power emanating from the insect. He halted the beetle's havoc and harnessed it for his own ends. Overjoyed, the king named the rat Gwai, the royal sage, and built a shrine in his honor. The bound beetle was a perfect source of power, so the rat stayed. He seized the Tongue Monk using the new power and battled with Soon Wukong upon the Yellow Wind Ridge. The Gwai's formidable wings failed the vast expanse of the sky. Were it not for Bodhisattva Linji, Tongue Monk's quest for the scriptures would have failed. Yet, stripped of the rat's protection, the kingdom was plunged into a state of ruin. The once lush Yellow Wind Ridge now lies a desolate wasteland. Hold it! You, traveler, back to where you belong, or meet your end. You scorn my words? How have you served to the king's dinner? <laughs> this might to aid my king's good deed. Our king comes from Mount Lingshan. His kind heart seeks to end the place's suffering. The Yaogwai's skills run deep, and with your help, our chances will be doubled. The king is just ahead. With my meager skills, I cannot join you. Please, Go away them quickly. Truth be known, being a father of two little ones, my life is not mine to give. Worry not, the Yellow Wing King is a noble disciple from Mount Lin Shan. Go and meet him. A good karma awaits you there. <laughs> You bested my vanguard. <laughs> then you do indeed have skills. That Yao Guai must have some vessel that counters me. Even my Samadhi wind can't hurt it. 
There is only one way to draw out this Yao Guai. I'll sound the drums and it'll come forth. If you are willing, I ask you to seize its vessel at the right time. Then the Yao Guai will be mine. an end of the world. Each day, the sun sets and boils the sea. The boiling hiss is sharp enough to ravage babies in their cradles. The people sound drums to counter the impact, but the drums draw this Yao Guai. The vessel this Yao Guai holds protects it from me. Your boldness in venturing here is clear. Aid me with this.
On the folk's behalf. 